ang taong bahay, mga abay, at tuloy ang kwantuhan. Siya nga pala, ang guest natin naman ngayon, mga abay, ay isang young scientist. Actually, siya po ay awardee ng National Academy of Science and Technology ngayong 2015. Ang tinutukoy natin si Dr. John Reb Pearl Juanico. Magandang umaga. Magandang umaga din po. <laughs> Uh, good morning din po sa aking uh, family, kay Maricor, uh, Charby, at saka kay Rod. Talaga naman, inunan niya na para <laughs> hindi niya malimutan. Sige, pag-usapan natin. Una-una, congratulations dahil uh, siya po ay napili ano, na maging awardee nga ng NAST. Ano ba yung ipresent mo na paper at ikaw ang napili? Yes, sa okay. dinami-dami. So, bale, yung paper na pinresent ko po ay... Eh, Uh, it's related to uh, a study that I had, uh, mm -hmm. uh, wherein I attempted to understand, no, uh, yung paano ba nabubuo yung isang epidemic. Okay. So, kasi nagsisimula yan na wala namang sakit yung mga tao, pero eventually dumadami sila. And yung uh, isang observation dyan is yung mga epidemics natin, minsan nawawala, tapos minsan oh. nagre-recur. Oh. So, yung tinatawag ko na phenomenon na epidemic cycle, yun actually yung pinag-aralan ko. Uh, however, um, dito sa Philippines, uh, wala tayong ganun kalawak na data no, regarding, say, uh, surveillance of how many people uh, get infected by a particular infectious disease at any given time. Well, there are some attempts already by the DOH, particularly with the uh, Philippine Integrated uh, Disease Surveillance uh, Research, uh, but they're still in the beginning stages. So, uh, Uh, what I did was to come up with a mathematical model. So, uh, ang larangan ko po ay physics. So, yung pinaka-tools na ginag ginagamit namin no, sa pag-aaral ay mathematics. So, uh, we created a model, uh, something that can be somehow played in a computer. No? Mm -hmm. uh, hindi naman played na parang games, mm -hmm. pero something that I can have the computer calculate. And when the computer does the calculations, then somehow I can make predictions. It's more like a weather forecasting. Ah, ganoan. Mm -hmm. mm, pero gaano katagal mo to pinag-aralan, mm -hmm, yung obserbasyon na ginawa? Yes. Right. It took me around two years to uh, come up with uh, um, convincing conclusions uh, about regarding the hypothesis that I mm -hmm. made. Na there are some uh, features doon sa data that might be useful in terms of, say, predicting when we should be applying intervention. So, when I say intervention, yung halimbawa, mag-de-deploy tayo ng mga vaccine, uh, yung mga ganong programa. Kasi, we don't want to be very costly no, in terms of that. Kasi, yun nga, minsan nagkakaubusan ng mga uh, bakuna sa mga public hospitals natin. And we want to be economical in the sense that we want to target which at which time we should be deploying those mm. para marami yung makikinabang. Ayun. Dito, sa pag-aaral na ginawa mo, John Reb, sinong mga tumulong sa iyo? Okay. So, actually, may mga na kausap ko na mga biologists din because, mm. take note, may background physics. So, wala ako masyadong... Uh -oh. Hindi ganun kalalim yung pagkakaalam ko tungkol sa epidemics. But... Uh, there's nothing that you cannot study anyway, so continuous learning naman lahat. Mm -hmm. So I, I did try to talk to people yeah, who are experts no, to this, to, uh, mm -hmm. in this area, uh, which allowed me to describe uh, using the math, mathematics kung paano ba, paano ba nagsispread yung epidemic. Ano yung isa sa binigyan nyo ng focus? Right. Uh -oh. So yung uh, pinaka-common na uh, infection, uh, actually uh, uh, worldwide yan, ano? yung influenza flu, trangkaso. So, uh -huh. may kita natin na yung krangkaso, actually seasonal yan. So, there are studies saying na, well, it could be weather-related. But yes, uh, there is undoubtedly uh, pag-uulit ng, ng uh, dami ng mga uh, tao na nagkakaroon ng ganitong klaseng infection. So, uh, influenza is one of the, uh, well, actually was the main focus of the study. But it, the model, because it is a, a sabihin na natin, generic model, Uh, if I could somehow uh, describe other diseases, infectious diseases, uh, as well, pwede ko rin i-apply doon. Ay, uh, yun. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, ano ang nakikita mo dito sa, sa pinag-aralan mong ito? Saan mo siya nakikita na right. oh, oh, ano pang pwede pang uh, baguhin doon o maitulong doon, ma-develop doon? Yes. Uh -huh. 
So, nabanggit ko kanina yung uh, DOH, no? yung uh, PIDSR, uh, Philippine Integrated Disease Surveillance. Mm -hmm. So, uh, bale, ang pakay kasi nung, uh, nung PIDSR is to gather data uh -oh. by means of surveillance. So, uh, ano ibig sabihin yan? Mangungulekta yan ng mga datos mula sa iba-ibang clinics, iba-ibang hospitals regarding su kung sino yung uh, nagpa-check up because of this particular infection. So, bale, uh, with the model in hand, uh, what I can actually do is to generate more results and then validate it with mm -hmm data that will become available once the surveillance will expand mm -hmm. and uh, not only in Metro Manila could <coughs> nationwide hopefully and by means of that if I can uh, 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 get a hand of that data as well uh, uh, pwede nating i-compare yan sa mga resu resulta ng, mga, ng modeling oh, yeah. and then uh, essentially validate kung yung predictions ba ng model ay tumutugma dun sa data. Ayan. At yan eh, asahan na natin na malalamin natin na talagang epektibo ba <laughs> yan sa mga susunod ano, na pagkakataon na kakailanganin yan. Thank you so much and again, congratulations, Dr. Juanito. You're welcome and thank you din po sa pag-invite. Mm -hmm. Ayan. At gusto nating batiin yung mga taga-nast. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, thank you pala kay uh, Miss Luningning at saka especially kay, ano, kay Darwin, no? Oh, uh, si na, Darwin. Nag-invite din sa akin. Oh, no? sige. So, yan. Thank you very much po. Oo, oh, oh. at marapit na nga palang anniversary din ng NAST. 40th nila, hindi ba, this December. Again, maraming salamat at mag-aabay. Babalik agad ang tambahay. Chill lang kayo.